Hi, <laughs> you're watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our channels. Uh, I'm Mike Morales <laughs> here in San Antonio. That young man out there is Jim Johnston in Youngstown, Ohio. Practicing social uh, social distancing as we do yes. online all the time. Um, Jim and I have had the the really the extreme pleasure and the honor of being the first ones to try Elenita ready to drink. And and again, what's going to make this a little bit different than some of the other RTDs that we're that we're uh, we're tasting and trying out is this is the first of uh, probably of many, but it, it is the first um, ready to drink made with mezcal, made with espadín. Okay. Um, Michael Noriega, one of the owners, gave us a, a, a sent me a, a nice little, nice little uh, note. And he said, you know, flip it and twirl it. Um, unbeknownst to me, I shook it and did all kinds of crazy, stupid things and and spilled a few, spilled a net. But uh, as we as we found out, um, it was okay to spill it because the nose came right yeah, up. Yeah, the whole thing. I mean, I I didn't. You, I didn't think it was, you said there's no soda water. It's like, oh, this is great. Pop. And then we got a little bit of a surge, but then the nose came right up and it was like, oh, wow. Well, it's just, yeah, yeah it's, it's all, all right, right there but, for you. Um, th we're, rather than give you all the particulars, we're, we're going to pop this baby open and then we're going to taste it. And then we'll tell you all about the ins, ins and outs. Ooh. Now this flavor is, is considered pineapple jalapeno. Okay. And as we do here on Sipping Off the Cup, we're going to taste the ready to drink at room temp first. Then we're going to add ice. OK, so that way we we kind of get an idea of what it's like before, you know, before it's all printed up and doctored up and, and all that. So uh, I poured mine in my rocks glass. As you can see, it, it's it's, you know, looks like a dirty martini and that's OK. That's all right. It's um that first one was really an interesting combo. The cucumber and mezcal were really prominent, and the yeah. lime, the lime a lot more once we iced it and on the flavor profile. So, right. and the basil was was almost a weak afterthought toward the rear of the palate. At least for me, it was. And again, it's okay. I I think, I think mezcal. Yeah. Uh, well, let let's 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 try the nose here. Oh wow, the pineapple is really nice there it's very it, it's mellow but it's there's a little sweetness that offsets the uh the baked espadine flavor or, or nose and uh nothing really on the jalapeno side on the nose no no, no. it is i say it was evenly balanced right now with with the pineapple and the uh, and the espadine right uh, and of course, we poured these in rocks glasses, so we're not using any any special tasting glasses. We, we're just tasting it like you would have it maybe at home, and you'd right. probably have it right out of the can chilled, which is probably how most people are going to do it anyway. But but I think it's it's fair to say we need to dissect this a little bit to see what the baseline is before we you know we amp it up with ice. I I that pineapple is really nice. Yeah. In fact, the last time you and I had had a, uh, something like this with the pineapple was, I think, Asulana. They had an yeah. unusual combo. Pineapple rosemary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, it, this one's with the jalapeno. So now there are only two flavors supposedly. Two, two. Uh, in whereas the Elenita, the other one we had had cucumber, lime, and basil. So yeah. there's no basil otherwise. So it's just pineapple. And jalapeno and of course the plant so i think we should try it and see what we get mm. oh wow 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 <laughs> that pineapple sweetness is right up front yeah. and then it goes straight into the espadine in the back yeah but but the i'm getting the pepper spice from the jalapeno. oh yeah oh yeah 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 and that's you don't even know you you know it's a uh, um we had a uh, infused lineup from Tanteo that, that Dave Dinius and I uh, went through. <clears throat> and Tanteo's base, their first infusion was the jalapeno. And you could smell it because this was with tequila. And it was very well done. All four, all four uh, expressions were really excellent. Very well done with the peppers. And this one, you don't smell the pepper because 
the, the agave is right there, and so is the pineapple. I think the two of them aren't <coughs> necessarily clashing, but they're 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 you know they're doing a they're they're really balanced. That jalapeno is giving it that little pepper, but at the end there is just a little. It, I know it's not the smoke off the the mezcal; it's the smoke off the jalapeno that's kind of a little slow burn there right at the end, but very mild. Yeah. Um, I like this. this I is, do too. This is really it's, a nice flavor combo. It's a, it's rather, and it's charming. It's they really nailed charming. the pineapple too. Yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't over sugar the pineapple. They just let it be a natural flavor. Yeah, these are all, all natural. Um, it doesn't give us a calorie count, which, which, is okay, I suppose. I mean, I'm not too concerned with the calorie count on this, but um, the the back of the information. The, the, let, let's uh, let me get into the stats and stories here while we throw some ice on it. Let's throw some ice on this on this sucker and see what we how it opens up. Um, the stats and stories on this is this is the first mezcal based ready to drink. Um, we say that with certainty because um, this particular this particular can and any subsequent cans uh, will have. If, for those of you who do understand mezcal, will have the the official um, holographic stamp from the CRM, which is the uh, the mezcal version of the CRT. It is the the regulating body, and uh, it carries that stamp. It is so new that it. It, uh, if you happen to see it on the market, you may not, um, if you use a QR, uh, get yourself a QR code reader, first of all. And when you snap that, that, that tag, it will take you to the, what the, uh, the CRM's version of the gnome list. It'll give you all the particulars, who's the master distiller. Uh, the information that it gives, uh, it's only, their only requirement is minimal information. Some will give you more information than you, than you want, and others will just give you the baseline. But um, this is so new that it may or may not show up on the on the on the CRM uh, list. Uh, but they're they are working closely with the CRM, and this you can't get this uh, anywhere except from from the regulating body. So right. that's how you know it's the first one. And and I I said to Jim off camera. I may have said it to him on camera. It's only a matter of time before we see these, um, you know, with other plants uh, and with with. Uh, uh, with Bacanora, yeah, uh, uh, you know, other mezcals and and branded probably, you know, who knows? Maybe one day we'll actually see a uh, a Del Maguey ready to drink. Who knows? Hey. hey, you know, it's a it's a legitimate market. So um, anyway, this is uh, Elenita. I, I love I love the packaging. I it's clean. Um, this is a uh, twelve ounce. What did I say? It was a uh, seven percent. This is seven percent. Yeah, the other one was a little bit six lighter. Six and a half was the other one. Yeah, this is a this is a little bit more. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, maybe it's so that the flavor comes through. You know. Yeah. Um. Okay, so now I've got I've got ice in mind. It's a little bit yeah. watered down. Excuse me. The pineapple comes right up to you, greet you. You, you know, it's no mistaking. And this is this is fresh pineapple. It's not, you know, like a yeah. It doesn't smell chemical or sweet or anything like that. Yeah. A little bit of, uh, of course, I got it in the rocks glass. So a little, it's a little muted with the ice on the nose, but yeah, uh, that, I was expecting that. Okay, well, let's let's see what comes alive now in ice. Mm -hmm. The ice has moved the espadine up a little bit. Yep. And the jalapeno is a little yeah. bit more pronounced there. Yeah, there that you cooling go. effect gives it that little yeah. menthol there on the jalapeno. Yeah. I was just going to say, I was like, oh, wait, there, there, right, there it is. Right in. There it is. No, it, it's, it's weird. It's like a time release. It's, a, it's yeah. like a time release flavor profile. First you get this, then you get that. and then, Oh, wait, <laughs> there it is. It's it's once you add ice, I think the jalapeno really comes alive. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's in, in a good way, not a 
There's not that killer spice on it. It's it's the flavor. You you taste that flavor. Uh, I gotta say, these have been very surprising, delightfully surprising. I yeah. mean, it's almost like, oh wow, you know, because yeah. you don't know what this is. This is mixed well. The blend of the flavors is put together really well. They didn't overdo the pineapple or the jalapeno. I could see having the jalapeno added in here and only tasting that hot spice and smoke from the jalapeno. This is all very balanced. And they timed it right. I mean, you don't time it, but it, it times itself right. That yeah. pineapple, espadine, little jalapeno, nice finish. It's pretty good. Yeah. I, I honestly, of the two, uh, um, and I think I like what, pineapple what, jalapeno better. Yeah, I do That's too. my personal preference. The other one wasn't bad. No. Uh, no. I would sip on that, absolutely, but I, I prefer this one. Yeah, me too. I totally agree with you. Well, you know, we said that with uh, Azulana as well. This was actually brought to my attention by a. Uh, uh, the the gold medal winner of of last year's ready to drink Azulana. He said, "Hey, have you tried this one?" He goes, "I'm not a mezcal guy, but you you guys might like it." And I said, "Sure, send it. You know, I have them send yeah. it." And um, what you know, it was this this flavor is the dark horse, like the pineapple rosemary was for for Azulana. I yeah. think I was I was like, "Oh, what's that going to be like?" And it it's good. It's, it's good. really good. Don't be put off by, by the ingredients, ladies and gentlemen. If it's well done, you'll know. If it's well done, you're, especially if you're, you're a tequila guy or if you're a mezcal guy or you're like us, you know, big agave spirits people, um, you're, you're, you know, don't be put off by you know, if it says, you know, mud pie and jalapeno or whatever. If it's done well. <laughs> that might, that's an interesting <laughs> No, no, well, you know, I I have seen just this year, we have we have had infused tequilas with with um, uh, salts, which are electrolytes. We have had mezcals with matcha. We have had people are becoming so creative, and yeah. on the healthy side, you know, because a lot of people that just want to drink healthy and and have a little bit of the alcohol and. And find that you know they're exploring their 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 in our cases, Jim. We're we're we're, we're challenging our taste buds, and you know we've we've done that. Well, look what we did. You know, not too long ago, we we had we had the Scott Dewar Scotch. You know, right. rest, rested in mescal barrels, and that sounds right. like a gimmick, right? We went to you see that video, man. Yeah. What a surprise that was. Yeah, I've had. Uh... You know, I'm 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 pretty much in isolation right now, but I, you know, that's one of the ones that had to be put away and hide hidden from myself. So, <laughs> oh my God! But uh, yeah, this is wow, man. These guys have really hit a home run, and yeah. again, it is this is official. Don't make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going to make a ready to drink, and they're getting this seal, yeah, it's, it's being made in Oaxaca, right. And, and um, it is 100% agave espadine, a little bit higher ABV than than the uh, lime, uh, than the cucumber lime basil. But, jeez, I, 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 right there, man, I, 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 this is my, I love this. this is I gonna, like it. This I is like going to go to Brand of Promise nominee in the mezcal ready to drink category. Check it out. You're going to hear this name a lot, Elenita. And I, I like how they named it, too, because, you know. Little Elena. <laughs> I don't know who she is, but she's so good. She had a drink named after her. That's right. <laughs> I mean, wow, that is amazing. Uh, well, hey, guys, that's our take on Elenita. That's the uh, pineapple jalapeno. Uh, look for it right now. I'm not exactly sure where it is available. I know that they um, uh, this being imported by a company in Miami. Uh, chances are you're going to see this a lot in, uh, in South Beach. I, I would say you'd see it all over uh, Florida first and and then, you know, come into California hopefully soon. Um, and, you know, who knows after that. But that's our take on Elenita ready to drink. I am Mike Morales here in San Antonio. That gentleman out there is Jim Johnson, Youngstown, Ohio. You have been watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media on all of our channels and networks. If you're self-quarantining and uh, or just bored to death, please like the video. You know, if you're doing the first one, you're probably the second one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like the video, hit the notification bell so that every time we upload a video with Jim in it, 
you'll be notified right away. Uh, if you're listening to us on on all the wherever you download your podcast, we are everywhere for you guys. Okay, because we're gonna keep drinking. That that's hey. You know, they deliver this to our door. So uh, even if we're in quarantine, we got it coming. So we got it coming to you. That's right. We're not stopping until until this thing clears up. OK, so uh, but, you know, whatever you do, tomar sabiamente. Sip wisely.